Um, hi everyone, Tim here. How's it going? Um, I guess this is going to be our uh, last live stream with regards to um, unit testing and front end. So this is basically last bits of uh, putting it together, at least before we release the uh, first version of the uh, platform. Let's go this way. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open the uh, VS Code and uh, let's just see where I actually stopped last time because I barely remember that. Mm, so we have, we started writing tests. We wrote tests for most of the components as far as I remember. They use snapshots now. Um, so we have tests for question, notifications, navbar. Yeah, okay. Um, I believe we don't have any tests for pages yet. So this is one thing that we'll have to do. We don't have tests for all the utilities. Oh no, we do have. Okay, utilities are covered, and we don't. We haven't tested any reducers uh, and epics, so that's another thing we would need to test, right? Um, I guess let's start with the simple uh, things like pages, and uh, just go ahead and test that. Um, tests. Was it tests? Am I correct? Yeah, it is tests. All right. So let's call it create uh, JS and I'm just gonna be lazy and copy everything from um, Yeah, okay, you have to be named uh, create test JS. Okay, there you go I'm just gonna be lazy and copy um, boilerplate from um, Before from our old code right create page um, So there we go I mean, I actually don't, do we actually need to do anything else? Those test things probably will be, oh, we need to test the uh, creation, create question thing. Okay, uh, now how did I do that last time? I, I think we did write tests like this with a uh, mocking of the, um, yeah, mock star, there we go. So I guess we would have, it's better to copy this thing. Right, so create, uh, create, Eight page there we go so we only need that uh, could, no I guess we also need to so we would need to again split it into two steps right because we here we also have um, the component itself and then the wrapped component that actually just renders so we need to test both let me export that part and uh, Mock store. In this case, we only care about what? We only care about text. So it's going to be question. Um, let's just say, okay, I mean, we're going to leave ID here. Um, text, test question, okay, for example. And then we also need expiration date. Um, which I am going to leave the same because why the hell not? It's not like we care too much about that stuff, right? Um, let me just quickly do that. All right, um, there we go. Uh, so create a page wrapper. Again, in this case, we don't really care. We just, uh, I don't even think we need to, so we need to pass store definitely, but I don't think we need to pass anything else. Let me just quickly comment that stuff. And uh, if we run npm test right now, we should, um, ta -da -da -da, there we go. Now there's something failed. I'm guessing this is our new, can read property user of any, okay. So I do have to pass a uh, user in there as well. So I guess we would need a user. Okay. So it does have, uh, right. Okay. I'm, I'm being silly here. Of course. Um, let me think footer test. No, wait, not a footer test. What are you? I used user test, right? So we can maybe just copy the test user over here. I don't think we actually uh, need too much info on it, uh, but let's, let's give it a shot. So that should actually in theory pass. No. What well, does it not like again? Um, can read property user of undefined. Uh, oh, right. I guess this is what I want, right? So I don't need to pass user here, but I need to pass it to the um, store actually, right? So it should be a uh, user inside of those. Yeah, there you go. So now it works. Okay, so we have a uh, snapshot rendering. Let's quickly check the snapshot. That looks uh, fairly okay from my perspective. So we have our user, we have the store, uh, looks fine. Now to the 
test itself actually. Great page. Um, so now then component. Uh, so this should be create component. We pass in user and uh, we pass in do create um, question function, um, which should be this one actually, right? So something we will have to mock uh, and then the function itself will receive what it will receive text and expiration date. There we go. So we destruct that and uh, I think we need to expect uh, checks. So we expect text to be equal. Um, yeah, let's let's just change that new text. And then um, expiration then uh, come on let's change it um okay there's there's here's the question do we actually need that question thing no we don't right i actually care about that so uh, expiration date let me just copy this one because you know why not um and um let's call it new expiration date i guess and expect expiration date to be new expiration date, right? So this is our validation. We create component, we uh, shall re render it, we match it to snapshot, which is straightforward and should always work. Right, then we mount it and uh, we need to, okay, first of all, I need to clean that. And then we need to find and fill out our inputs. So first one would be question text. So find question text, get dumb node, put new value, and we put it new text. Um, then set, okay, that is not username, set new question text. Set new question uh, date, or expiration date actually, yeah. Um, same way, but we only we find uh, expiration date and uh, it's type date. So I guess new expiration. Yeah, come on. New expiration date. I guess that should work. I mean, we're going to find out in a second. And then we're going to find a button, which is the only button over there, and click it. So, um, yes, let's test it. MPM test. In theory, that should work. No. Um, what um, expected object but received string? Oh, okay, right. So I am actually comparing the string from the uh, text. Yeah, so I need this to iso string method here as well. Um, to be new expression date to iso string. There we go. So that should uh, make it pass. No. Expect. Oh, the other way around. Uh, no, wait, what? Expected value. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, what is going on right here? Um, uh, maybe let me try to do that. So we got, yeah, we compare it as ISO strings and then we set it. How does it mute? Come on. Yeah, they, okay, <laughs> that, that is the weirdest bug I've ever seen. Okay, that seems fine. So we are now, um, I think we tested everything, right? I mean, there's just rendering and this one function, which we just tested, cool. Um, and I don't think we use link anywhere. Yep, so we can remove that. Nice, um, git status, git add source. Okay, uh, minus m add unit tests for create page. Good. Next, uh, home page. This literally has nothing. Okay, we still need store because it calls fetch questions. So I am guessing new folder um, tests and then home test JS, right? Uh, so let me copy this again. Um, right, the question is, do we, okay, first of all, does it care about the user? Yes, it does. Okay, good, we still pass user. Uh, and then in this case, so that should be home page, and then this should be home. Yep, yeah. uh, we export this part, so 
Again, link is not used, we can choke that. Question is used, why is it highlighted? Using expert name question is identifier uh, for default export. Um, is that because I exported as question over here? Yeah, okay, so no, it's fine. We are fine, I think, yeah. Although that's a valid, I mean, fine, whatever. We can tweak that later. Right, um, so in this case, uh, homepage wrapper, um, that should be just homepage. That should be straightforward to test. Let's make sure that works. So create tests are working and okay, it fails. Uh, why it fails? Questions of undefined. So, okay, I guess because it tries to access uh, questions here from questions. Okay, so which means we should say that the state is questions uh, and then questions and empty array, right? So that should fix it. Yeah, there we go. Now it renders, let's check the snapshot. Straightforward, seems to be working fine. Right, uh, now the interesting part. So in this case, um, home page, that's what we want, right? So what do we pass in? It takes in the function fetch questions and then uh, questions user and do answer. So there is answer function, right? So there's a bunch of functions to mock actually. So. Uh, first of all, yeah, let's just copy those things and uh, do it in this way. So this is gonna be fetch questions as a function that will change our um, questions. User is gonna be the same, so we don't care about that. Questions, um, push, then we're gonna push some question over here. And then we have another function, which is to answer, uh, which in this case, oh, we don't actually have to test that because it's just passed to questions. So that's good. We already tested it in a separate uh, suit. Right, so here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna push a question, but we don't actually, no, we do need, we need, we do need to test that at least one of those questions are rendered, right? So where's my question tests? Uh, here's my question. So we can just copy that and uh, paste it over here and just, you know, just to render something and make sure that it actually uh, correctly renders subcomponent. Uh, there we go. User owner. Uh, yeah, that looks fine. Create, uh, no, that should be uh, home, right? And then questions is questions. So in theory, it should pass it by reference. And uh, uh, I guess uh, I guess we could pass the do answer as no op just to make sure that it doesn't. I mean, theoretically, we don't call it, but hey, let's just pass it so that it doesn't crash on us uh, somewhere. So uh, no, we do not match the snapshot first. We do shallow render, no, uh, we actually actually uh, mount it, right? Then we wait for, no, we actually need to test. So we mount it and then once it's mounted after the fetch questions, it should test. Um, yeah, okay, um, I wonder how do you do that actually? That is a wrapper, so if we, if we just, Light, right, okay, let me let me just so test rendering that will test the shallow rendering, and then uh, test questions uh, fetching. So, what we need to do here is actually we need it is a bit tricky. So, first of all, let's say app is a variable here, and then we'll say app is going to be mounted, right? So, and then what we need to do is uh, use the same approach as we used over here, but here we were looking for um, buttons and stuff, right? And here we just need to find question, I guess, um, and then expect 
Right, so what does the jest have in terms of um, methods? I guess I should have clicked on API from right away. There you go. Uh, before test skip after all um, mock function, just objects. I expect, there we go. Expect methods, expect to be defined. That's what we want, right? So we expect this to be at least one, so which means it should be defined. If it's undefined, then um, am I getting this? Can I find find of undefined? Does it call does it call it on shallow rendering as well? Wait, wait, wait a second. I am kind of curious. If it calls it on shallow rendering as well, then we should see it in a snapshot, and then it just works. Um, each child and array should have unique key property. Uh, okay. Wait, I did have a key property, didn't I? Question ID. Am I putting ID or no? I don't. ID uh, zero. There you go. And okay, now it passes. Now let's have a look at that snapshot. Home. No, that that's the one. Component div. It actually does render as a question. Nice. Okay, so we don't, we don't actually have to invent anything. We just do shallow rendering here with um, with a test and make sure it matches snapshot. Done. Perfect. My man, I'm liking just more and more actually. Cool. So uh, we added that. Um, get status, get add source, add um, unit test for home page. Great. That That is way quicker than I expected it to be. Okay, login page. We have a few handers here. Um, yeah, I guess that's uh, all the pages are going to be a bit tricky. So new file login uh, test JS, right? I'm just going to copy this because I'm lazy. Um, hope it doesn't suffer because of that. <laughs> right. Um, so login page and then login here. Um, let me export. Where's where's the login? Yeah, there you go. Export this, right? So we want separate export for that. Um, login page wrapper. So login page. Um, there we go. So that looks. Do I actually use? I use what here? I use auth only. Okay. So I don't think we need questions in here. Store the match snapshot. Let's just make sure um, that actually works. NPM test. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, that works. Nice and easy. Cool. Uh, just to make sure a snapshot is actually what we want to see. Yep, looks good. And uh, then we got login page, which again, that should be completely changed, right? So we got our um, login component, which takes in three variables. Um, const, no, const token which should be anything const nav to home I think is a function exactly so this is just gonna be a um, case okay, does just have expect I mean I guess we can just say expect wait does it have something like to be called to have been called can you do that drink uh, yeah, okay, I in yeah, but I mean I know that it's called if it's already true, so we can just do something like to be I mean this is a stupid way of doing it, but a to be through the uh that's what we want. Yeah, exactly. So that that's I mean that's all the check that we actually need here, right? Because I already know that it's called. And then on login click, what does it actually do on login click? It passes login password, remember? So login password, remember? And uh, here, expect login to be login password, remember? Pass, uh, no, come on. Remember, um, and uh, 
const new login test const new password 103 const remember rem I mean I guess we don't need to do it we can just say to be a uh, true C as well yeah right to be new login new password uh, and uh, here we need to pass what we need to pass token I wish there would be like a shorthand same as an ES6 for all that stuff but sadly that's not how it works after home and um, on login click there we go okay so we do a shallow rendering test snapshot and then test uh, nav home is that what we need to do uh, okay oh yeah but before we can do that we actually need to render um, yeah there you go do, 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 do. so mount mount for testing um, app find Okay, what exactly does if token? Oh, okay, so if token is provided, then it should trigger. Okay, then basically we don't need that. So we'll automatically test that since we do provide a token. Um, and um, then what we need to do, we need to find input. Uh, this is uh, get dom node right value equals new uh, login there we go so no uh, set new login and pass login pass and remember actually remember there we go so the other one is password uh, there we go come on and uh, Remember is a checkbox. Um, I believe it is checked, right? True. That's what we want, and then uh, click login button. Yeah, no. App find. I think there's only one button there, right? Yeah, exactly. So button. Uh, find button. How did you simulate a click on it? Simulate click, okay. There we go. Uh, that should trigger everything we have here. And in theory, I mean, I might as well just screw something up, you know, it tends to happen. Uh, expected one or three received tests. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, of, of course. That's what I get for copy pasting. Let's try that again. And we are working. So just to make sure this snapshot looks in the way we want. Yep, that looks good. Git status, yep. Git add source, git commit, add unit test for login page. There we go. Now, um, what do we have? Not found. That, that should be super straightforward. Um, tests. So not found test JS. Um, I mean, I, I'm just gonna copy it from here, but we actually don't need like 90% of that. So we just need the page itself. We don't even have any mocking or anything. Not found page, right? Not found page. I'm gonna yeah, just, just do that wrapper we just render the page we don't really have anything to it and i can kill everything else npm test theoretically i should just pass because i mean it's just a snapshot testing yeah there we go so yeah, yeah i mean <laughs> the easiest case right um profile i think profile also have some logic yeah it calls get user and then this also has some logic okay cool so uh, yeah, I guess let's commit git aid source, git commit uh, add not found page. There we go. Now, um, yes, we don't need that anymore profile. So tests file profile test JS. Do 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 we copy that because why the hell not? 
Um, let me think. So we need profile page and we need profile here and I need to export the profile component uh, or profile class in this case, right? Why is it home? That. Yep, copy pasting in all the places. Um, profile, thank you very much. I don't need this semicolon here, right? Uh, user props validation. Yeah, we can add that later on. Um, link is not used, I believe. Lodash is also doesn't seem to be used anywhere. Good. Uh, now, testing. So, profile yeah, page. What exactly do we get? We get a wooth and then users. So users, uh, what is their user and then user? Yeah, let's should be just like this. Uh, do, 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 do. I should allow edit, which means the same user where you have that. Mm, we're good, I think. Okay, so let's check that it actually generates and properly matches the snapshot. No, it doesn't. Profile page is not defined. Uh, I'm sorry, what? From index, yes. Profile, oh, I, of course. That was a typo. There we go. Uh, so now we have a snapshot that should look like a wrapper. Yeah, that looks fine. Now, the interesting part. Um, profile page, there we go. So let's see, we can kill all of that. So prof, prof, come on, what's up with me today? Uh, kill all of that. Now, what do we do? We need to pass get user, which is our test function. Const get user. Um, which does what? It gets params by params okay so it actually uh, yeah so we pass params user so we basically will get user here and then expect user to be uh, what was the dip equal thing again um, to match right to match um, Let's do it this way. Let's just call it you. There we go. Okay. Uh, and then in props, we pass um, pum, 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 user, which should be user. Loaded user, which should be also user. Params we already passed and get user already passed, right? So uh, in this case, yeah. So user is just basically we just sh we don't really test anything aside from get user, so I don't need this part right so um and i have to rename that profile page wrapper there you go npm test nope i screwed something up a uh, string what profile page string not matched this props params um i'm sorry what I yeah what? Absolute snapshot found. And hey, wait, what what is ID string must be a string value. Wait, I did was it to equal? I did deep like deep matching previous time. Okay, so it was to equal, not to match. Um, test minus u. Yes, I don't want any absolute snapshots. Thank you very much. Okay, there you go. Uh, git add source, git commit profile page, right? And the last one that we have to do is um, register page so tests 
um, register test no test js there you go um, profile test copy that stuff paste here right so first of all export register second of all uh, register page and then register yes uh, do we need a store yes we do and we also need a thread rec to login which okay we don't actually need that so we need only a with um, here redirect to login which should log in which should be just a no op in this case um register page yes and now we just make sure it works Ta -da 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 -da, register i don't think we need a user here actually npm test dun, 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 dun. that's actually quite fast for so many tests 24 total tests five seconds not bad i mean especially considering we're running it like over react um so register page right so that that's where it gets a bit trickier um we need those three functions we need to test all of them i believe right so const okay i'm gonna do that one a bit later uh, and have to log in Uh, mm -hmm. so okay if there is redirect to login and after login should be called which means we can do again I expect true to be truthy right and redirect to login will be like one of three or let's say true uh, and then the interesting part is this on register click, uh, which does what? It sends login, password, password, repeats, login, password, uh, password, repeat, which we need to compare to const lo uh, new login. Come on, login 103, const new pass, what do we want three? right um oh i forgot equals here and here right um on register click nav to login ready ready rec to login there we go and this should be register yes okay cool uh yep expect login um to be new login and then new pass uh this is password and this should be pass no come on password repeat there we go okay so we do shallow rendering match it then we do mount components so um const app equals mount component right by not messing this up uh well we did it in login i think right yeah let me let me just copy that because i am too lazy there we go okay we mount it then we need to set uh input username we set it to new login yes input password we set to new password new pass and then uh, we need to do password repeat there we go and then there is also only one button so yeah that should basically work i think let's give it a shot and it works nice so we have tests for uh, registration page now git add source git commit add register page yes cool um i think we have only left to do tests for our reducers and epics and that's it so let's start with reducers because that should be trivial 
um, okay, auth test JS. Now, where's my utils? Let me just copy stuff from here. Um, so, auth, uh, yeah, let's see, export const auth. So, I import auth from auth, right? This is our reducer. And uh, the thing that I want to do is so it takes in state and it takes in action. State is initial state. Uh, and uh, in our case, we have three actions. So basically, what we want to do is we want to say auth. So const test state. So let's create some test state. Um, where's actually the initial state token is say one or three and user is ID zero login test. I mean, we can just take this user from register page maybe. Do we have a user here? No, we don't have a user here. Profile. <coughs> yes, you can just copy that user and uh, put it over here. So get token user. And then so um, test state, right? And uh, then we pass in action. Um, okay, we need to import action types actually because we don't want to do it. Um, yeah, we can do it this or no, okay, let's just let me just leave it there, which means that it's like this action types, yes, and then first one is we say action types register success um, so we call that and we actually want to get redirect to login right to be true truthy okay this is one um, test register success i mean i guess we could make it a separate test that would make uh more uh, more sense register success let's do it. yeah i mean let's do it this way because why the hell not okay then we need to test login success um <laughs> login success in this case it does what it actually action payload <laughs> Um, how the hell do you actually do that? Action, oh, action type. I am doing a completely wrong thing because it's an object, right? So type. Okay, I was like, well, wait, wait, it's a string. How it can have payload? I am forgetting things. Um, I guess it would be better to move it out. So const action. There we go. Action um, login success. There we go. Action right. Um, let me think. Action it should uh, take the payload. In this case, we get type payload. It's gonna be um, so it's, it has to be an object test true. That's what we should expect in the end, right? So basically we should have test to be truthy as well. This is, um, I mean, I guess we don't need those comments. They are kind of pointless here. This is login success. And then we need to test login. And uh, so um, errors, basically uh, errors, uh, test state. So uh, yeah. That was a bit too much. Um, login error. Um, yeah, let's do it this way. I guess I we don't actually need it here because we just want to send it two times. Expect yeah login error to equal uh, test state right. So we just need to make sure that it actually returns the same state register error there we go and that and and then we should send some bonkers like whatever 
type uh, minus one, right? And we should still get our old state back. Let's see. Um, can I read property to string of undefined set item? Uh, transaction payload token and user. Okay, it has to actually have token one or three user. Yeah, okay, we can just do that. And uh, then we can get a bit more tests to equal user. And another one would be token to be uh, one or three, right? And that should fix it, I think. Yeah, there you go. So this is a reducer test for auth. Um, Hello world, I, we, do we actually use that at all? I don't think we use that, so I'm just gonna skip it for now because I don't remember if I can remove it. I mean, we don't wanna test it anyway. Right, um, new file notifications test JS, right? So copy that, paste here. Um, let's see, notifications from notifications there we go i don't think we need a user here so notifications reducer first of all what do we need to test we need to test add notification add notification that's going to be type add notification and uh, okay initial state is actually an array um notification no wait notifications there we go action which means and we need a payload to action so um payload and the payload would just be wait how they okay just add it into array okay um test right so which means that length to be one and then we need um the first item to be uh test that should work and then we need to test uh, notifications reducer the other thing is remove notification again test state okay test state should be test actually action is remove notification payload is test and then um, notifications length to be zero that's all we need to test here and then notifications reducer errors uh, test state is empty and in this case we only need to test for random uh, action type Where's my notification? Yeah, there you go. Works, perfect. Um, we are good with that. So questions. Okay, this is the tricky one. What about users? Users is easier. So let's go for users for now. Okay, copy that part. Um, users from users, right? Let me real quick do that. Users reducer, yeah, there we go. So update user, um, um, boom, 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 update get user, update user. Do we need any payload? We don't actually need any payload here, right? So it should be, um, it can actually be one liner. So action, we paste it here. Test state, it doesn't actually matter in this case. So we just pass in a blank object. And uh, in this case, type action types uh, get user, right? Uh, and in this case, we care about, so we need to make sure, okay, actually in this case, const um, res, and then we need to make sure that res user is null. 
and then res uh, status is loading, uh, loading, and three dots, right? And then we do the same for um, get user. Let's call it res one. Just copy paste that from here. Res one, res one, and um, let's just test that it actually worked. I mean, those tests are, it's like testing reducers is so simple. It's most of the time you don't even need to retest that, but just to make sure, yeah, there we go. Right, um, update user success, get user success. Uh, okay, I guess we can just do that. And um, paste it here, erase that, um, update get user success. And uh, we results should be what action user pay. Okay, in this case, we actually need a payload const action payload test, right? So action user to be test. Um, payload, yeah, okay, payload user actually is what we want. So like this and status uh, to be done. Okay, and then action one. So that should go here, which means uh, test again. And then this should be done. Test state is whatever state is um, and then errors uh, so copy paste that again users reducer update gate user error so update user error update user er wait do I oh I um, yeah okay get user success and then get user I mean it's it's not exactly critical but hey so it should be old state plus status error and then actual uh, payload error test so which means which means uh, error 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 and status is error so error and theoretically that bit that should pass go great nice and easy and the last tricky one is questions um, questions test JS gonna copy maybe you know which one was the smallest one notification I think great right? so now here's the tricky part uh, questions question questions so questions uh, from here just replace all of this stuff so we got the uh, boloxy thing tested there and we need to test for all of those errors uh, so this is the random thing and then ta -da -ta -da -da, let me copy that so what I need to do is type like this um, Gonna be super lazy here and do this, right? Uh, expect. What do we actually expect? Okay. Oh, okay. There's a multiple, multiple uh, results there. So we are gonna have to do it a bit differently. Mm -hmm. Okay, but yeah, well, let's let's do it step by step. So, uh, what do we have here? We get get all questions. Uh, get all questions. Payload doesn't matter. So it's a one-liner. Um, get all questions, right? I mean, we can even 
but I think it yeah so we need to check questions and status which means oh I actually did that called it several times is sub efficient but hey um, let's do it this way so res questions to be um, empty array the initial state is actually this so question status init it uh, yeah that, I mean that's just in this case we don't really care much so I just gonna pass empty object here uh, questions to be this and status res status to be loading right okay we did that uh, get all questions success get all questions uh, su success there we go test state again is going to be empty object doesn't really care much okay what it does on success it adds question so payload questions um, one or three no I mean we just need to compare it right because it, it just adds yeah so test um, questions action uh, questions to be test and then we also need status check so okay I'm gonna once again export const res uh, res questions and res status to be done cool next okay we got a bunch of question logic here one two three four cool so let's make one and then just copy paste it to a different one so first one is what uh, answer question success answer question success right so we got that uh, state questions so first of all state should have questions which should have question um, so it looks for payload ID ID Q ID D1 okay and uh, so questions map question question equals payload then okay then it takes whatever is in the payload uh, data update right and then here we should say data old so we trigger that and that means that questions from zero um, data actually in this case to be update and that's all it does actually okay um, next question create question success so create create question success test uh, initial state is empty create question success I think it just takes payload yeah and then puts it so Q here questions uh, length so it should have only one question and uh, first question should be Q uh, to equal Q right that's two now delete question so that should be Q um, delete question yes so and then length should be uh, zero that's all we test and it should say delete there we go done and the last one is update question ta 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 there we go update question um, <laughs> So again, if it's okay, so it basically will add new properties as well. So ID is QID. Uh, 
update true. Let's just do it this way. Question length, it still should be one question. And then a question from zero update to be true C, right? That's what we want. And uh, yeah, okay. And then errors. So how do we test the errors? Uh, state error, action payload error. Halo, um, yeah, I guess, I guess I will do it in this way. Payload error, error, like this. And then basically um, status and error to be equal const. The state should be actually an object here. Res and then expect res status to be an error. Res uh, do, 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 error to be error. Okay, and then, I mean, the thing is, this is just, um, so what I can do is I can take all of those actions say like this do for each um, type and then just do that right because I can come on I want to copy paste that stuff 20 times and uh, there we go I just need to take all of those actions delete that stuff and uh, paste it here commas and we're done and I think it wants um, braces around it right okay um, let's test it theoretically that should cover nope I screwed something up multiple times it seems uh, two failed uh, okay yeah right get all questions uh, get all question. Wait, what? Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, that that is too equal. And the other error is get all questions success. Questions, of course. And then test. Now it should pass. There we go. Cool. So now we covered with test all our reducers. Uh, on unit test for reducers, right? So what's left is our epics. Um, those are a bit trickier because we have to mock uh, network requests. Although, you know, it's not exactly that hard to do, but I think I think I am going to do this next time. So, you know, if you stayed on the stream, thank you for watching. And if not, see you next time, hopefully uh, quite soon. See you around, guys.